Hi guys, welcome back to Santa Barbara's family. So my name's Sammy. My name's Derek. And we are currently on our way back, on our way actually to the Children's Museum to take our kids to it. Um, guys, this is Nathan. Nathan is currently 10 months. He's about to turn 11 months on the 24th. This is Hazel. Hazel, Hazel, say hi. How old are you? Three. Hazel's three years old, and we are currently at the Children's Museum, and it's actually so much fun, guys. Like my inner child is so happy. And Eric's here playing with Hazel. You're coloring. Nathan's also coloring, but he's getting frustrated. You like this place? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to La Nevada's family. Um, we are so excited because we're finally going to film our video. And our first video is going to be a Q&A, which we're going to do right now. Um, sorry for the dragging. Yeah. yeah. It took forever. Forever. So sorry about that. So let's start. So, uh, the first question is, um, how did we meet? How did we meet? Okay, so me and Eric met through Facebook from a Facebook post, which was great, right? Uh, phone call. Phone call first. It was a phone call first. And he called me, and it was such an awkward phone call. But after that, we just started texting through Messenger. And from there, it just started off. We somehow figured out that his friend was my cousin, and she got us to meet each other at like, work. Like, yeah, the person. Like after it yeah, was like, we knew we knew each other through our uh, social media for uh, like a year for a year a year and a half yeah and we always wanted to meet each other like in person but i guess we were just like kind of young and, and she, I lived, lived, she lived yeah she lived pretty far but then at the end when we ended up figuring out that uh karina my friend was her Shout cousin to you. um i started talking to her about her like oh you know we should have like a day like we should go out all of us so i could get to meet her and thankfully god uh, it did happen so and we were very young when we first started talking i was in sixth grade and he was an eighth grader so that's when we first started talking and then after that we met at west lawn park if you guys are from chicago you guys know where west lawn park is and we were playing soccer together so yeah shout out to facebook shout out to karina and shout out to god um third question is um what is the hardest thing about being married okay. there's nothing hard i mean it's just you guys, it's hard to accept the fact that uh like there's just a lot of changes, a lot of big changes, in, like how it used to be. Like I guess when we were dating, um, I guess like we have now bigger responsibilities. Yeah. Like she has to make my lunch for work. And I well that question had like it was like multiple questions in one. So like I said like like what is the hardest thing about me being married and then I'm living on your own and having two babies. Living on our own, I can answer. We could both answer it. It's definitely like. I I think it's the best. I mean, it's. It's the best, it's just the fact that, like I was saying in the, like, in the last question, I mean, it's just responsibility. Yeah. You know, you got you got rent to pay, you got bills, plus other bills you have, your phone, you know, insurance, etc. But I mean, it, it's good, because it feels good, like, knowing, like, you could be with your couple and your kids, like, you be yourself, you know, it feels good, like, going to work, coming back home, you know, like, just... Knowing that it's just your wife and your kids there, and like, you feel comfortable, like it's, I I think it's the best. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Having two babies, it's um, I guess it's it's a little bit hard. The fact that we have a toddler right now that she's three, and the fact that we have Nathan that's getting for his first year. Yeah. And it's just Nathan's everywhere, crying and every like he's just. He's just everywhere. Yeah, he's a little bit, yeah, he's crazy. I see the fact that, like, they're always, like, screaming and, like, arguing and then playing around, doing a mess, and I just see, like, Sammy going up and forward, up and down. And, I mean, it is a little bit hard, you know. But. And then, also, I think, like, the hardest thing about having two babies is, like, managing your time with them like you i can't spend so much time with nathan because then hazel gets really jealous or i can't spend a lot of time with hazel because then nathan comes and starts pulling hazel's hair my hair like trying to get attention so it's that that's the hardest part i answer the fourth question is do we want more kids in the future um i i actually do want more kids in the future um i'll say two more hopefully i could get another boy and girl but I, mean, I I want more kids. Do you want more kids? I I I've always told Eric that I'd be down for one more. Um, 
Yeah, it's just really, I had like a really hard labor with Hazel, but with Nathan it was so easy, but then like after labor, like you're like, it was kind of difficult, but I'd be down to go through that pain yeah. again, just, just for um, one of them. Like she's saying that like she wants to have another kid, but like until we have like our own house oh, and yeah. everything all settled down. And I mean, I think, I like I agree with her, I think it is best, like, if we, like once we have like our own house and everything. You know the name of Jesus, hopefully soon. Mm, I guess that future. answer is yes, in we do. Yeah. Wanna have? Maybe two. two. Uh, maybe two, yeah. <laughs> okay. Question number five is this. Um, how does being parents change you mentally and physically? Okay, so mentally I feel like it gives you like a whole new perspective in life. Like it changes you like drastically, like crazy time. Like you don't see things the same way you used to before you even had kids. Like now you, you think about all the dangers in the world and how you're going to protect that little person like you're trying to be that little bubble and like it just messes up with your head sometimes like i get so worried at night like especially because like we co-sleep with the kids so i hug them and i'm like oh my god how am i going to protect these two kids so i guess it it really like messes with my head a lot also me like personally i used to be such a drama queen before I had Hazel, so after Hazel, it like made me a whole different person. Like, oh god, if you guys know me from back then, I'm a whole different person now. So yeah, that that changes you mentally, crazy time. You? Um, physically? Well, physically, I guess. Um, having babies gave me stretch marks. Um, I my weight is like all over the place. Um, physically. Yeah, I, I guess they're called beauty marks. <laughs> like especially for the baby daddies out there, like they see that their girls complain about their stretch marks in the face. Yeah, they yeah. help her out and tell her, you know. Yeah, he's always bad. like that. Like sometimes, like when I don't have like my shirt on and I'm feeding Nathan, like I try to cover my stomach because of my stretch marks, and he's like, "Why are you covering your stomach? Like that just that." Like why? It's like they're beautiful because that's what that's where my baby was. Right, born like from. they don't come out from something you should be ashamed, you should be ashamed of, you know, like it's a blessing, you know. Mentally like it changed me like in a way like to be more more responsible. Especially uh with my kids and you. Um I have to uh work a lot for them, you know, so I can give them the best. I mean, like, really, really responsible for the time, you know. It took time, you know, but I'm, I'm, I could say I'm a really responsible father. You really are. At now, at this point. You really are. You know, but Especially yeah, at the age he's yeah. at. Like yeah. I said, it took process, but, it's process, yeah. you know, I think, you know, thank God, you know, I'm settled now. And, and physically? Do you think it changed you physically? Physically, uh... Like your body appearance? No, I'm, I'm not really, I mean... Mm. Just with Hazel, like, yeah. he did yeah, gain a lot of yeah, weight. Yeah, with Hazel, I did gain a lot of weight. I mean, I guess it was just the fact that, like, every like every craving she had, I mean, I guess not the fact that I was craving it, but, you know, fuck it, you know, I'll eat it. And, uh, we're going for the sixth question. Who has been your biggest support system? Oh, wow, this is such a good one. It is a good one. So, ever since I did get pregnant, I could say that I, I always had my mom like she was the first person to always be there and she's still there for me like 24 yeah, she's, 7. she's still there for us all the time you know yeah. i appreciate like her that support i could i i could agree with her that your mom's always been there and like thank god you know she's always helped us and then i could say my sister my sister has also been the biggest support system that i've had and then i'll say my aunt she was there for both of my labors and she stayed there for both of them mm -hmm. So those three people, well, my dad too, he's been the biggest support because he's he's in back of my mom. So whatever my mom would do, he was always like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do this for them. So my family, and I have had a couple of friends that have been there since I was pregnant with Hazel, and they're still here now. Like friends that you had before you were pregnant. Yeah, they're, they're and they're there. still here. And like, it's not like the fact that we see each other every day and they're or here 24-7. Or talk every day. It's that they ask, like, hey are you okay how's hazel how's nathan or if i post a story they're like oh my god like i miss you guys like, like they just remember me and that's what means a lot to me and 
And Sophia has also, my best friend Sophia, she has been a big support system to me. So for sure I've had a huge support system with my family and my friends. So shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for helping me. And you? Um, well, my biggest support, I mean, my, my parents, just my, my dad was a little pissed, you know, when he found out uh, I was having a baby. I guess for him it was just more about school, like, you know, school first, school this, school that. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I, over the time, I guess he, he accepted it and, like, he started being one of my biggest support, helping me out, you know. Giving you a better job. Yeah, he got me a job with him, you know, giving me a better job. You know, I mean, and through the time, I mean, it's just, I appreciate everything he's done to me. So, and your um, friends? Um, yeah, my friends were, were supportive, too, as well, you know. They would always, like, ask me, like, you know, like, like you said, like, like they did to you, you know. Or call me most of the time, or for, like, for, like, for baby showers, like, for real parties, everything, you know, they would always go big with, like, like, with the gifts, you know, the best. Like, you know, like, they were just happy for me. And then also, like, remember when we would hang out with them? Like, they'd be like, oh, bring Hazel, bring Nathan. They yeah, would never like, be like, oh, don't bring him. What the heck? Like, they were always supportive with that. Yeah, and, like, always help us out. And, like, when we would go out to eat, like like I said, like, you know, it's it's hard when, like, you have babies at the, like, at the stage of age that we have them. Yeah, and young age. And uh, our friends, like, they would literally, like, help us out. Like, when we would go out to eat, like, like, we were struggling, like, they would see us struggling, like, they would jump in, like, to help us right yeah. away, you know, like, oh, this and that, you know, like, pass me like this, you know. I'll go Are they be feeding Hazel yeah. while I feed Nathan? Or while we eat. Yeah, you know, while since, we eat. Since they would see, like, see us that we're, like, we have an A because, like, we're more focused on, on the kids. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I have, uh, like, three, four, five friends that would always be there and ask for my kids. And they've been there and even really think, before. Yeah, before, like, like we I was, like I said, like, with you, like, before I was pregnant. Well, you were pregnant. <laughs> we were pregnant. Right. And thank you guys for, his friends, my friends, thank you so much for being, still being our friends, because I know it's kind of hard once we're parents, because we kind of forget about the whole world and we focus about our family. You guys still manage to talk yeah. to us and be there for us. And thank you guys you. know who you guys are. And just thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for that. Appreciate that. So this question was for Hazel. So Hazel. Yeah, this brings us to our last question, for real, for real, which is, how does it feel being a big sister, mommy? What? Playing peekaboo with Nathan? Yeah. And make him laugh? Yeah. So it makes you feel happy? Yeah. Yeah? You like being a bigger sister? Yeah, it doesn't make me get too happy. Oh, you like seeing Nathan happy? And then, do you want um, Do you want more babies? Do you want mommy to have more babies? Yeah. How um, many? Um, what? Two. Three. 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 Four. Four more? <laughs> what do you want? Okay. Boys or girls? Three? Boys or girls? Um. How many baby sisters do you want and how many baby brothers do you want? Boys. Boys and Boys girls? and girls? Yeah. Right, just like daddy. Boys and girls? You yeah. don't want to be the only girl? Why? No, do you want to be the only girl or you want more sisters? I want more sisters. You want more sisters? Yeah. Really? Okay. You want to say anything else in the video? Yeah. Oh, what do you want to say? I don't know. <laughs> you don't um, know? I eat happy meal. Oh, you ate a happy meal? Yeah, yeah, I got my two favorite. I got two. Oh, you got two horses? Yeah. So, I, I got two. Oh, I, if you guys can give us video suggestions, comment down below what videos you guys want us to next. Yeah, yeah, you guys want us to film next. Any video, so we can make it happen. Thanks, challenges, um, any, yeah, anything. Anything. Well, we'll, we'll, be posting, we'll, be posting, we'll be posting some more videos. Fortnite dances? So. Yeah, uh, Dashi TV. From Dashi TV. Fortnite dances? Yeah. Fortnite dance channel. Well, that brings us to the end and of the video. video. Um, thank you guys for watching and you please say comment me? like and subscribe to our channel and share this video with all your family and friends and yeah we'll see you later bye, bye.